Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, eye uh, shell penetration when uh, the eyeball penetrates uh, uh, the eye shell uh, when uh, the eyes look down, up, uh, right or left. And uh, let's check it out. If uh, we check out eye look right for the left eye, we will see that the eyeball uh, goes through the shell, eye shell. Uh, we can uh, test out the left. As, uh, uh, look around and uh, let's go with down as well and uh, let's check out uh, up for the left eye and uh, now let's uh, jump into it right uh, we want to modify the corrective morph targets uh, for this uh, expressions and uh, this is quite easy to do right so if we enable eye look up for the left eye we need to enable this and let's search for the morph target site here. Let's search for look up. And uh, this is our morph target. That uh, This is the morph target associated with this uh, expression, right? So let's double click on it. And uh, let's just uh, quickly modify this uh, eye shell. And uh, let's uh, decrease a little bit the strength of this tool. Uh, if we hold the T and move uh, left and right, we can decrease the strength. And uh, let's select the sculpt uh, brush, right? So let's make it, if we hold B and move uh, left and right, we can increase the brush size pretty quick. And just add a little bit of volume. So when it looks up, it doesn't uh, go through it, right? So this is a very quick fix. We just save. Okay, now that it has been saved, we can go ahead and uh, test it out. So let's uh, disable our, our expression and let's look up. We will see that we still have a little bit of deformation here. Let's jump into it and uh, let's just modify a little bit. Just a little bit, we have to modify it. Don't forget, we have to select the eye shell and just add a little bit of volume, right? I think this is it. Let's uh, save this. Okay, now uh, let's uh, test it again. Let's disable the expression, let's enable it again. And now we will see that our lookup is fixed. And uh, let's jump into, let's see which other one look left we can uh, quickly fix maybe or look uh, right we can see that uh, uh, we have a little bit of uh, uh, bigger deformation here let's jump into it let's uh, enable look left and uh, let's search for look left for the left eye right and uh, let's uh, use a little bit the move uh, tool here. Let's add a little bit of volume here. Maybe let's switch to sculpt. Just add a little bit of volume here. For the skin shader, just go then to uh, the eye shell and just sculpt a little bit what's going on here. So kind of like this, the more time you invest in it, the better it's going to look, right? Let's move just a little bit on the edges here. Let's hold control with the move tool and move left and right, and it will move along the normals. So uh, I think uh, for now, uh, this is it. Uh, let's save this. And now let's test it out, right? Let's enable look left and our problem is solved. So this is how you fix uh, eye shell uh, penetrations and uh, intersections with uh, uh, the uh, eyeball. And uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, you have to do this for both eyes. I look up, I look uh, uh, down, left and right for each uh, eye. But uh, before doing this, don't forget that you need to center the eyes, something that I didn't do. But what you would want to do is center the eye 
for example, you search for eye bone and uh, you select left eye and uh, set pivot bone from section, right? You do this right before creating any uh, eye shell corrective, right? So you select the left eye, you select the eye left and press OK and you keep everything default for this, right? And after you do, uh, you do this, the eye bone will be centered uh, to the eye uh, eyeball mesh. This is what you have to do right before everything, right? So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you, you find this uh, quick and uh, helpful and uh, see you around. Bye.